Hi, my name is Bridget Estep. I'm the Director of Outdoor Pathways for Southern Utah University. And it's a job that I love because I get to connect people to the outdoors. One thing that we've found in this pandemic is that the outdoors is really good for you. And over the last six to seven months, people have learned how to camp, they've learned how to hike, they've learned how to be adventurous in the outdoors. You can't buy a bike these days because they're all sold out. So what I'd like to do is add a pandemic stewardship challenge because we need to also love and care for the places that we're recreating in that. So what we also have found out through everybody flocking to the outdoors is that the nature is actually really good for you. Um, in that there is a lot of studies out there that says it leads to good health because you're getting exercise, but it's also really good for your sense of well-being. Um, it helps your mental state, it's a, it helps your emotional state. If you do it with others, it helps for social bonding. And this even happens in the winter since we're getting to go there. Just because it's a little cold, put on a coat, still take your best friend or your dog out, and you will have a better, um, better outlook on life for that. But in that, we also really need to care for the places that we're loving. Um, so I'd like to just talk about stewardship. It's a term that I've really come to like and to apply to my professional work. And what I would love is for you to think of yourself as a steward of the outdoors. And really, it's taking care of something that you find of value um, is the best definition for it. There's a few ways that you can be a steward for the outdoors. The first is leave no trace. Leave no trace is actually pretty remarkable because it was agreed upon by the National Park Service, the National Forest Service, the Bureau of Land Management, state parks across the country, and industry as a set of um, principles that guide us to take care of the outdoors. You can look up Leave No Trace online and they have a great um, set of videos and just practices that you can learn from. But really it comes down to seven things. Plan ahead and prepare. Make sure somebody knows where you're going and when you're gonna get back um, and that you, know, that you know where you're going and how to get back. Um, the next thing is camp and travel on durable surfaces. So stay on the trails. If you go off trail, um, you can do some adventuring and such, but those trails are there to make life easier for all of us, to keep us safe and to keep the world natural beyond the trails. So please stay on the trails when you can. The next is dispose of waste properly. Put the trash in your pockets, in your backpack, carry it out. If you find trash on the trail, do the same with it leave what you find. This really goes in with um, finding cultural artifacts like arrowheads or pottery, sh pottery shards in it. Um, and if you leave those where you find them, you're giving other people a chance to also discover them, but you're also helping to keep the history of people that have been in these lands intact for other people to learn from in it. Um, the next one is minimize campfire impacts. Hey, we just came out of a drought. We can have campfires now, so that's really good. And the best thing to do is just have those campfires in campfire rings. Respect wildlife is the following one. Wildlife is great. It's really fun to see and watch, but just give the wildlife a little bit of space and you'll, um, and you'll find that you can watch them longer. So instead of trying to get your dog to chase the deer, <laughs> just try to like watch the deer from a distance and you'll be able to see what they're doing a lot longer than if you try to chase them. And then the other one is be considerate of other visitors. So when you have a choice between like blaring your music or putting earbuds in, put the earbuds in because it'll allow other people to listen to those natural sounds. And that, so that's really the first step of being a steward is just following leave no trace when you're out there. If you want to take the challenge and go to the next step though, you can make a difference while you're recreating. The first thing is just, just again picking up the trash when you go out there um, and help us keep our lands um, trash free. It makes it better for everybody. Other things that you can do is you can volunteer on public lands day or you can go and find volunteer programs um, within your parks or in the public lands that you have. Um, other thing that is really good for people these days is planting a garden. Even if you put some plants out on your porch in <laughs> In, um, in little pots, you're still adding to the natural part of this world. So plant a garden. 
there's a lot of really fun organizations out there that are doing citizen science. So a lot of times in the spring, you'll find bio blitz that the parks are doing. So you can volunteer and go out and count butterflies or mammals or mammal signs, actually, because you, sometimes you don't see a lot of mammals or try to find different kinds of plants and lichens that are in the park. And it's a really fun day that you get to learn about things. So just be on the lookout for how to be a citizen science and do a park bio blitz. Um, if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can do one of two things, depending where you are on at life. Um, I run an internship program, the IIC, with the public lands in Southern Utah. And we place about 200 interns in the field every year. And we would love to have more students join us um, and do everything from goshawk research with the Forest Service to visitor use management down in some of the busier parks in our area. And then the final thing is if you're out of school already and wondering how you can give back, look up working vacations because you can spend actually a vacation doing trail work, doing conservation work around the world. And all of these things will make you a better steward. So that is how I'd like to just kind of get you to think about being in the outdoors and taking recreating in the outdoors to being a steward in the outdoors. The outdoors again is really good for us. Even though we're going into winter, please go outdoors and please have fun and become a steward.